Hey guys, welcome to the weekly reading for Capricorn. Page of Wands. Oh, you guys may about to be, be about to receive communication here. Aries, Leo, Sag energy. The, yep, somebody's about to talk to you. The Hermit in reverse. Somebody's coming out of Hermit mode here, coming out of isolation. This is somebody that's been feeling like stuck or they've just... For some of you though, with the Hermit in reverse, I don't like that. Because that to me, for me as a reader, that means that maybe this person hasn't healed or they haven't really like thought, they haven't really thought about what they did. One, two, three on the... Okay. I did just see one, two, three on the camera. That to me is about progress being made, things moving along or something moving around, moving along in the right direction. So maybe they are in the process of really doing some introspection and healing, but they're not there yet. But that could also mean Virgo energy with the hermit in reverse, that someone's just coming out of hermit mode to talk to you, to send you a message or communicate with you in some way. We have the King of Pentacles in reverse. So it could be a Taurus, Virgo, or a Capricorn. We already have the hermit here, which is Virgo. But see, again, with the king, king of pentacles in reverse coming out, this is somebody that does not have their shit together. They're possessive. They're wasteful. They maybe made a bad investment. They're greedy. They're just, they don't have their, yeah, yeah they're just not. Ooh, this person maybe wants something from you. Yeah, because they're the king of pentacles in reverse and the six, six of pentacles. This person wants you to give something to them. They want your help. Oh, is somebody coming out of hermit mode and reaching out to you because now they need you? Now they need your help? So this is almost like a warning reading. This is why this was so urgent for me to get on here and tell you. This is like to warn you that you're about to be receiving communication from somebody that is going through something. They're, they're, it looks like financially. All right. Um, or for some of you, they're coming towards you because they're possessive over you and they feel like you may be giving to somebody else. But for, I feel like they need your help in some way. They want to, you to give something to them. They want to take something from you. Tell me about the Page of Wands. And I say it that way because this person, with them being in the King of Pentacles and Reverse Energy, they don't have anything to give you. Not anything that's worth anything. Right as I say that, Five of Pentacles in Reverse. So it's like they're trying to like, this person can maybe feel you leaving them out in the cold. They want to try to recover the situation or they're trying to overcome something. Like they're trying to improve their finances. They're trying to like make something better. After maybe there was some type of separation or they may, yeah, they, they maybe have just gone through a breakup. So I, I hope this isn't somebody that's just got out of another relationship and they're coming towards you to rebound or they're coming towards you to help them get back on their feet after they didn't went this, some, some other person, they then drug them through the mud or something like that. Three, three, three on the camera as I'm saying that. So tell me about the King of Pentacles in reverse. This person could actually be leaving something behind though. With the three, 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 three to me can be about encouragement and it can be about a need to, a feeling like a need to make essential changes. So maybe this person is leaving something behind or they're, because they feel like it's time to make that change. So they're breaking up or leaving a situation because they feel like it's time that they need, it's like time or something like that. So now we have the King of Pentacles in reverse and then we have the King of Cups in reverse. Ooh. Why do we have two Kings here now? Why is the King of Cups in reverse coming? The Eight of Swords. Hmm. I feel like this person's about to come in and try to play victim. I'm going to be honest with you. Like, they have this victim mentality, and I feel like this person is going to try to come in and like try to play on your emotions or try to make you feel guilty or something. Yeah, the Fool in reverse on the back of the deck. Aquarius energy. Yeah, they're still going to be holding back to you, or they're still afraid of something when it comes to you here. I feel like this person made a bad decision. I'm not going to be honest. They they took a leap of faith. They didn't really think it through. It was, they. I don't know how else to put it. They made a bad decision. And now they're curious to know, like, if maybe you're still an option or, I don't know. Um, Why, are the, why is the King of Cups in reverse and the King of Pentacles in reverse? That's, that's like, to me, also, if this isn't two different people, this person, like, literally has nothing to offer you. They're, they don't, they're not stable. And on top of that, they're emotionally manipulative or they're emotionally immature, like, or they're emotionally unavailable, cold. So King of Cups in reverse, King of Pentacles in reverse, the High Priestess in reverse. Secrets. What is this about? Tell me, yeah, a hidden motive. They're hiding something. Tell me more about it. The High Priestess in reverse, Pisces energy, the Six of Wands. They're trying to hide from you that something didn't work out. Like they, they had some type of failure. Or they didn't win something. And it's like they're trying, they're in this energy of trying to like recover from something. But it's like they're maybe going to come towards you and it has something to do with an ending of a relationship. So they're not going to want to tell you. 
that they just ended that so they had just they just had a bad breakup with somebody and now they're coming towards you tell me what what does this mean for my collective straight they're telling you to be strong have self-love and self-respect here yeah because now we have yeah the empress in reverse yeah the knight of pentacles in reverse they're really telling you to be strong and like hold on on your inner strength when it comes to this person because for some of you with the empress in reverse there's something about this person. They can make you feel like insecure or something like that. Um, they just, what's the Empress in Reverse mean for my collective? The Knight of Swords in Reverse. They're telling you, to be, to be defensive. And not place too much focus on this person. So this person's coming on you to depend on you in some type of way. I need more clarity on what the Empress is. That's Taurus energy. See, so yeah. The Three of Cups in reverse. What about the Three of Cups in reverse? The Nine of Pentacles in reverse. This person's not single. This person's not single. Or if they did find their independence from some type of third party, this th them leaving this situation has left them like, with nothing like they have nothing after leaving this situation because everything that they had wasn't even theirs i hope that makes sense like this person has nothing tell me more what does this mean for my collective the eight of wands in reverse yeah the the page of swords gemini libra aquarius energy four of wands it's like this person does want something stable with you like they want to settle down with you and that's maybe why they've decided to leave this other situation but there's a lot of delays when it comes to this yeah the lovers in reverse i can't show that card uh, what about the lovers in reverse and the knight of cups i'm telling you it's like they're leaving one situation they're detaching from one person or situation where there was a lot of disharmony and they're doing this out of self-love okay they're doing doing this out of self-love like they made some type of bad decision. I feel like that situation ended in conflict and disharmony and loss. All right. For some of you, they just weren't making up their mind between you and somebody else. But it's like they're making up, up they're making a decision now that they want to come towards you. They're seeing you as their whole ultimate happiness and fulfillment. Yeah, they exactly. Ace of Swords. They're seeing this very clearly now. They're seeing the truth. Okay, so what are they expecting? Yeah, they, they are seeing the truth. That you guys could have this Ten of Cups and this Ten of Pentacles together. That's everything together. Why couldn't they see it before, though? They chose something else or they chose to stay in something else. Why couldn't they see this before, Spirit? Four of Cups. Because they were in this, like, just apathetic energy. Yeah, it's like they weren't seeing what you had to Like, you see how that cup is being offered to that girl and she don't even see it? There's too, much, too busy focusing on this, this Three of Cups. Yeah, juggling. They, they didn't even see. They couldn't see what, like, yeah. Why couldn't they see it, though, Spirit? Why couldn't they see it? They were maybe kind of just trying to ignore it because they were they, they were afraid of you in some way. They felt like it was risky. They decided to play it safe. So they ignored this offer, which would have been the Ten of, Ten of Cups and the Ten of Pentacles because it was scary to them. It was, it was different. But the, exactly, they were releasing that fear with the Nine of Swords in reverse and with the Four of Pentacles in reverse. Now they're wanting to be more open here, but they're not financially doing well. Yeah. What is the magician in reverse? I don't like that energy. The moon. See, something here about an illusion. What about the moon? The three of swords. What's this have to do with my collective? Judgment. They're having some type of wake-up call. Yeah, they're having some type of wake-up call in regards to an illusion that they were living in that... That they missed, they missed a golden opportunity. And, and for some reason, they couldn't see it. I'm going to try to get more clarity on why. They could have been blinded by fear for some of you. It could have been, you know, like when something somebody is presented with something that they've never had, they don't know how to handle it or how to do, how to, yeah, how to handle it the right way. Why, why, is, why, why was this person in this illusion, spirit? Now they're heartbroken. Temperance. What about temperance? The four of wands. Why couldn't they see it? The Queen of Pentacles. 
Why couldn't they see it before? Why couldn't they see it before, Spirit? Why couldn't they see it? They felt stuck. Maybe they did see it, but they felt stuck. Yeah, maybe they knew that it was going to require a certain level of self-love and respect and courage to be able to really have this with you. Yeah, look at this. Ego. It could have been ego. A power struggle. They could have had somebody that was being controlling over them. Yeah, they're probably, I feel like they're walking away from that situation. Yeah, it's like they're releasing something. Hmm. Spirit, tell me more about why this person could not see what they had being presented to them. Now they're heartbroken. Now they're feeling like you guys could have had everything together and they couldn't see it. Probably what I'm going to name this reading. work and finances so maybe that was a factor yeah they were too focused on work or they made a, when they did make a choice like to choose between you and something else what was the determining factor was something to do with finances okay tell me some tell me more not yet certain yeah they were unsure they were they were confused they were not sure about you they weren't sure what they wanted oh grass is greener hard to please looking for better oh so did this person think that they could find better than you they weren't, they were like, they didn't want to fully commit to you just in case they could go out there and find something better. Wow. So they, 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 they were also wanted thinking that maybe they could find a better option or they, they were curious to, to know if they could find a better option. Yeah. This was somebody that was wanting to see if there was something better out there or what, what was out there. You know, they weren't satisfied with just you, unfortunately. And they also put work before you and money. Yeah. Look at this trying to score. Wow, guys. This person was, yeah, they didn't, they were, they weren't sure if they were ready to like actually settle down and be in a committed relationship with somebody. They were still like very like sexual minded or like they weren't really wanting a serious relationship. And for some reason, that type of dynamic, like a purely sexual relationship or like a not a, a situation where they didn't actually have to make an investment or really open up and all those things seemed more appealing to this person. But they're learning a very uh, big spiritual lesson right now. And you and this person were meant to meet. This was faded. Yeah, obsession, strong attachment, fixated thinking. So how did that grass is greener and trying to score work out for this person? So we have needs more time. So it says creating space, figuring things out. So they're in the process right now of learning some type of lesson or still figuring it out. Yeah, so that's why they've been in this hot and cold energy. But they haven't quite gotten it yet. Yeah, surprising events though. Mixed signals, unstable connection, healing work, and probably getting in the way. I told you. This person's ego. Yeah. Caught off guard, unplanned. This person wasn't expecting to meet you either. That you met them when this person was nowhere near, near healed, okay? Anything else? All right, that's a lot. All right, still a lot came out. So <laughs> this person's thinking about reaching, up to, reaching out to you. I told you, you, and I think they're going to. I see them coming out of this hermit mode that they've been in and reaching out to you. And it says only wants you. Focus on you. Nobody compares. So there it is. They went out there or they're in the process of seeing if they, they could find something better than you or they tried to. I feel like by the time you hear from this person, they're going to have realized like they're not going to be, be able to find anybody that is you or better than you. All right. So that nobody compares to you. And it says worth waiting for. It says slow moving romance, patience, falling in love, early stages, awakening. So their heart chakra is opening. Yeah. Tell me more about work. What's it, what this means for my collective spirit? Romance in the workplace. What about that? What's that have to do with my collective soulmate? So you and this person suffering in silence. What does that have to do with romance in the workplace? Sir, okay, so they chose somebody possibly for some of you. Again, yeah, look at this. Stuck between two. Loving two people, avoiding a decision. Mm-hmm. Yep. This person chose some type of surface, like I was saying, some type of surface level relationship where they didn't really have to, they were either together for the wrong reasons, which it looks like it was some type of like work or money partner partnership. Or for some of you, it was somebody that they worked with. I don't know, but it was somebody that they felt like, it, like if it was somebody that they worked with, they maybe worked the same hours or something like that. They, they didn't have any deep emotions for this person. Whoever this was, they was they were together for them for the wrong with the wrong reasons. Yeah, but they feel drawn to you. 
Yeah, they feel drawn to you and they're suffering in silence. Whatever this other situation they've had going on, hiding pain, putting up a front. So what does that mean? Okay, so they have this other situation going. What does that mean for my collective? Twin flame, here we go. Here we go. Oh, and making lifestyle changes. This person is trying to better themselves. Yeah, life cleanse, better choices. Okay, so give me one more card. Change of heart. That energy has been coming out huge. All right, guys, major change in feelings or thoughts. Wow, eternal bond. Love of a lifetime, unforgettable. I told you, they're, they're realizing that you were it. But there is some type of like, I don't know, there is some type of block or delay. Or you guys are literally blocking this person now. Like, you're not maybe very open to this. Because, yeah, we have no second chances. Done trying, done with the BS, enough. Yeah, you've had enough of this person. It's like, yeah, but it's like, some of you guys haven't completely moved on from them. And they don't feel like they can move on. It's like this person knows that they're not going to be able to move on from you. It doesn't matter if you're, you're rejecting them right now or what. But they're, like, they feel like if they change their life, if they change, they improve themselves, that maybe then you'll give them another chance or something like that. Let's see. Let's see what's about to happen. Goodness, y'all, this shit. Gossip. Mm. There's a lot of gossip that surrounds this, this relationship that is affecting not only their judgment, but their vision, too. We have the, the rival. See, they do have another person. See, or they, yeah, they chose someone else over you. And though it wasn't what they wanted, they thought it was the right thing to do. That card came up that says that they were together. They were went with that person for the wrong reasons. Tell me more about that. Well, see, now they're like, they may not be with that person anymore. Cause I, but then we had that recent breakup or what, what did we see? What happened? Was it your reading? I told, didn't I say that they, I feel like they just broke up with somebody. Yeah. Yeah. Two of cups in reverse. Yeah. So I feel like they just broke up with somebody, but they know that they chose somebody else over you. And you guys may be aware of this. So if you know that your person chose somebody else over you and they know that you know, that's why they, they're a little bit worried that you're not going to give them another chance because you are, have that awareness that they literally chose somebody else over you. And they didn't even want that person. They chose that person for the wrong reasons. But they're going to come out of this hermit. They're, they're going through the dark night of the soul. That's why I said that this person is not like totally the person you would need them to be. But they're in the process of becoming that person if you want it. But they're, in the, they're going through the dark night of the soul. I feel like they've separated from that rival or they're going to soon. Because I definitely see a breakup here. All right. But they still have some healing that they need to do. It says they, they're experiencing massive upheav upheaval to help them align with new levels of love with themselves and the connection. Yeah, sexual union. They're wanting see, be careful this person wanting wanting this with you. Sexual union. Coming in, reaching out to you because of that. See, I told you this person doesn't have anything to give you. They don't they're not emotionally avail available still. And they, they're not financially stable. So if they want to come, what what else is there to give you? Is this, right? Yeah. Their greatest sex memory is with you, but it's more than just sex. It's their memory of feeling so close to you. We have new perspective, which that just came out too. That, what was that? Change of heart. They've gained a new perspective and now see how they failed you by their own sabotaging behaviors. So in a nutshell, guys, you have somebody that is dead set on you. They did choose somebody else over you. Okay. Like I know you guys can be like, hell no, but this person did choose somebody else over you. But through that experience, whatever they experienced with this person, all it did was make them realize that you were their end all be all pretty much. And guys, unfortunately it has to happen that way sometimes. All right, but mm, but this person also is aware that they got a lot of work to do before you'll really let them back in, or that's what they're about to realize. And when they try to reach out to you to try to have sexual union with you, we have unexpected. Yeah, the answers you seek are coming, but when the answers arrive, it might be too late, or you have moved on. Yeah, and it's like this person's gonna pop in out of nowhere. Foolish. They feel like a fool for crossing the line and messing up the connection. Yeah, exactly. This person knows. And look, game over. They fear your wrath. They know you're no longer entertaining their half-hearted effort. And it says, yeah, they feel like a fool for crossing the line and messing up the connection, but too embarrassed to come forward. 
the crossing the line and the foolish decision was choosing somebody else over you and then you finding out about it. They know that they crossed the line by choosing this other person over you, but they can't stay away from you. They have an insatiable thirst, a thirst that no one else. It's like they went with that other person. They realized that, that they realized quickly. I just heard quickly that that other person could never be you and never fulfill them in the way that you did. They have an insatiable thirst, a thirst that no one else but you can satisfy, craving you more and more. Yep, taming the beast. You make them putty in your hands. See, that's why it's this. it triggers this person's ego. They don't like how much power and control. Like, not that you guys are literally trying to control this person, but you make this person feel things. You make them want, like, it's like you have some type of power over them or control over them without even trying, and they don't like it. They like feeling like they're in control. They know their old conquering ways will not work with you. Yeah, they know that they can't manipulate you anymore either. But look at this. Yep, betrayal. Their fleeting heart will only end up betraying you in the end. Your soul deserves better. We have temptation. Mm -hmm. They could have, they, the betrayal was them falling into some type of temptation. But they also have like a really strong, it's like they know they betrayed you, but they feel very tempted to also come towards you. Each day it gets harder and harder to resist what they, to know what they, exactly. I'm having a hard time getting my words out right now. Each day it gets harder and harder to, re, to resist what they know in their heart to be true. They see you as their forbidden fruit. Yep. It's like they want you, but they feel like for right now, they probably, it's best to stay away from you right now because they know that you're not playing with them. So they're like, if I don't, I have to hurry up. And they know that even if they do get their shit together and come back towards you, that there's a good possibility that you still won't take them back. But yeah, you guys are in separation right now. And they, it says they're focusing on their own personal journey and choosing not to focus on love because there is nothing to give. What did I say? I said that. Yep. Anxiously wait, but they're still waiting for you. They're waiting for you to reach out to them, to, for you guys to bump into each other. They're haunted by you. They're thinking about how they broke your heart. They're also thinking about you moving on with somebody else. Isn't that, isn't that interesting? They definitely chose somebody else over you, but they're worried about you moving on with somebody else now that they've had this realization. They, they see things clearly now. They see that you're it or you were it for them. You were the one and they couldn't see it. They have some demons. They have a dark side. They have things that maybe they have never even revealed to you about themselves. And they don't, they've been trying to hide this from you. But yeah, it says the player lifestyle that wants to find everything that they did has stopped looking enticing ever since they met you. Yeah, but they miss you. Yeah, and they put you on a pedestal. Mm -hmm. You're the queen of their heart, the queen of their fiercely guarded castle. It's only fear that makes them run. Yeah, I've mentioned that a few times as well already about them having like a, them being afraid of you because they do think so highly of you them not feeling good enough for you. And that kind of like really hurts this person's ego, to be honest, like them feeling like they're beneath you or they're not on the same level as you. And this, this is like a very humbling experience for this person, like being with you and encountering you. It's like they're going through an ego death, like, you know, dark night of the soul, ego death. Like, yeah, it's knocking this person down a few notches <laughs> for sure. All right, let's get a few of these and then I'm going to take it over to the extended reading. We have, we have soulmate. Needs are equally met. Challenges you to be more giving and loving, deeply connected with all the codependency or neediness. We have forgiveness. That's why they're going to want to come back together with you. Okay. It says letting go of emotional burdens, key to healing and growth and connection, acknowledging your feelings and that of your twin or whoever, your twin, your soulmate. Didn't I just say this person was, look, the ego driven card. I, my pride and my ego hold me back and stop me from being my true authentic self. I'm afraid you'll reject me because I have a fear I'm not good enough for you. My self-confidence was just a facade. <laughs> what did I say? Oh, and then we have third-party situation. Wow. This is so much confirmation. I made you feel inadequate because I chose someone over you. I regret the pain I have caused you due to my selfishness and my physical needs. You didn't deserve to be treated as an option. Mm -hmm. And even though we are not together, we are connected through and through. When I sleep, I dream of you. When I'm awake, I think of you. I'm able to feel you as if you are physically here. They cannot get away from you and your energy. Yeah, but they've been, they're, they still are in this energy where they're trying to hide their feelings and emotions and wear a mask. Yep. Didn't I say that they feel like they, they feel powerless when it comes to you or like they feel like you have control over them? Feels powerless and may resort to lying to gain greater control over their environment. I'm telling you guys. Yep, divine timing though. It says believes union will happen when it needs to. The universe is placing people, things, challenges, and more into your life when you can handle them. Believe that everything in life happens exactly at the right moment. I know you get this is not what you guys are gonna want to hear, but this all had to happen this way. Like th this is confirmation for me. Like I was saying, like like I was saying earlier, like sometimes it's how people learn. This person had to like, it's like you were like a major upgrade for this person. They put you on this pedestal. Well, they didn't feel good enough for you. 
So after it's like after somebody encounters an empress or an emperor and then they try to go back to whatever else, it's just like it, it, it like kind of blew this person's mind and woke them the hell up. And they probably were never going to get this wake up call with how broken and ego driven this person is. They were never going to get it when they went and they started dealing with this other person. It completely shattered their ego like they're trying to hide it. But look at this. I acted like I didn't care, but I did. I just needed my time and space to think on my own. I didn't want to be tied down by a relationship because I wasn't ready to put in the work. I This is pretty much confirming everything that I've already intuitively said in this reading. Yep, I'm trying to balance the scales of my life and our connection. I took from you more than, wow. I took from you more than you were able to give, and I used you for your own for my own benefit. I now understand that was unhealthy and unfair, unfair to you. I'm sorry. Could be a Taurus you guys were dealing with. We already have, we did have the Hierophant. I now know I have control of my life. No one is holding me captive and no one is controlling my circumstances. I recognize the power of my free will and I now choose to be happy. Yeah, they definitely were also kind of maybe feeling like there was somebody manipulating them. And I think I mentioned that or somebody had some type of power or control over them. And that's why they when in their other relationships, they were trying to be controlling and domineering because part of them feels like stuck or controlled or manipulated and like like they they don't have any power. So that's why in their romantic relationships or whatever, they try to be very dominant because there's a part of this person or there was a time in their life where they felt powerless. All right. Maybe you guys both felt this way in the past. It says we have experienced so many similar things in our lives. I always thought I was the only one to have had these experiences. I take comfort in knowing you truly understand me. So you guys have maybe like had similar upbringings or, or similar experiences. You guys may probably both suffer from control issues to some degree, like you know, like wanting to be in control and know when everything's going to happen. And, you know, you and this person definitely have been having a power struggle for sure.